Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission showcase video. We have an awesome Chaos Space Marines wall band for you guys to check out with loads of really cool models. Uh, if you're new to the Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly, welcome. Here at Siege, we are a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with 28 painters who all paint from our bronze above tabletop minimum standard all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, be it for a character, small force or army, then very simply in the description of this video, all you need to do is click the link next to the section of text that says get a quote. That will take you directly to the Siege Studios contact form on our website. Select the drop-down options from those available that are relevant for your project. And then in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format, which is shown on there. Once that's fired off to us, we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started. We're back in a second to have a look at these really cool insidious chaos models in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So first up, as ever, let's have a look at the characters from this really cool Chaos Warband. There are four. The whole project's been completed by Kev, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, we've got some really cool models in the characters. Uh, obviously, we've got Chaos Sorcerer, Master Possession, and Demon Prince. And then we also have a Lord Discordant. All painted slightly different as well. Uh, the two sort of infantry characters are painted Black Legion, but the other two got an Iron Warriors, Lord Discordant, and then we have uh, a Demon Prince here with Black Legion livery on his armor panels as well, but in a lovely deep red crimson. Uh, so let's start by pulling forward some of these awesome models forward. This is just obviously the master possession here. You can see Kev's done a stellar job on this model. Lovely amounts of detail on it. All the sort of flaming braziers and skulls, uh, all the fight and the flyer in the hand. We've got obviously all the little eyes and things across the armor, the glowing little eyes on the sort of goat's head on his staff and also on his helmet um, and again lovely sort of effect of levitation on him which is really really cool in the pose again but every aspect of detail fully painted and fully highlighted lovely glowing sort of eye kind of thing on the backpack as well which is really nice uh, lovely amount of contrast and shading done on this uh, cloak that he's got as well on his shawl uh, which I really really like and all the little intricate bits all done specifically like the blade the fact that it's like a goat's um, sort of horn as the blade cowling as well which is all which is really really lovely uh, so that's just uh, the master of possession here in all his glory, um, or dark glory, shall I say. We've got a uh, Cow Space Marine Sorcerer. This is a fine cast model, really, really cool model with uh, lots of little bits of extra details. As you can see, the little uh, eyes and lenses and everything fully painted with glowing sort of runes and things. Also as well, the lenses on the eyes are glowing just to show that dark majesty and dark power. I do love the pauldron on this guy as well. That's sort of the, the demon sort of head on his pauldron, which I think is really, really cool. And uh, Kev's done a stellar job just painting all the little aspects of detail throughout the model, the little book, the little chains, all the different bits and bobs. Uh, and you've got this lovely sort of chaotic blade that's weathered and chipped as well, which is really cool. So that's just this Cow Space Marine Sorcerer. Next up, let's have a look at the big boy, the Demon Prince. Uh, again, painted in Black Legion armor livery, but then he's got this lovely, lovely dark crimson sort of skin and flesh work. Again, you've got all the glowing sort of runes there on the uh, shoulder pads, as you can see, the eyes on the fist, and then the glowing sort of chaos kind of quarter of like the eight pointed star on the shoulder pad as well which is really nice but again the flesh work all done on the wings and everything here as you can see lots of sinew all done in between the uh, structural parts of the wings painted in a lovely fashion uh, moving around again every aspect finished in a pristine clean finish really really cool and all the little details on the face as well all fully painted and all the eyes and everything in a lovely standard so that's just the Dean Prince and then the final model from the four characters we have the Lord Discordant painted in uh, iron warriors colors as per our client request just get that to focus for you guys so you can see it but a really really cool model um we've done quite a few of these now but they're really really cool with the, the fact that we've had to do different colorways throughout the uh the projects that we've done iron warriors lord discordant with a red shawl there as you can see massive sort of chain glaive and i do love i mentioned it on other videos but i do love that glowing sort of uh, power bit there that um kev's done and then you've got the uh, the beastie himself, this biomechanical monster that's uh, got lovely pale, pale kind of purplish lilac kind of skin in the areas that that's uh, on the model. And then obviously this dark, gritty, uh, sort of Iron Warriors scheme as well for our client as requested. Uh, but the little glumming eyes and things all done as well. And the little mucus and stuff just dripping from the, uh, the, the the talons or the horns at the front there. And a lovely complimentary green as well, which is lovely. Uh, so that's just this awesome Lord Discordant. So there are the four characters from the Force, guys. I do hope you like them. We're back in a second to see all the infantry, the demon engine, and also the obliterators. See you guys back in a second. 
So up next, we have the remainder of the force. We've got 10 Chaos Space Marines in Black Legion livery, uh, and we've also got the Demon Engine and also the two Obliterators. Really, really cool selection of models. Uh, a lot of these obviously have come from Shadow Spear, um, just their new sculpts. So they're really, really, really cool. We'll pull forward some of the Chaos Space Marines just so you can see these guys uh, in their glory uh, or hereticness, if you want to call it that. Uh, again, Kev's on the third job of just doing all the extra little details on these models. They really, really have got loads of intricate little bits. All the lenses and everything fully painted there as you can see every edge all done uh, this is just the dude here with the auto cannon uh, we'll pull forward the plasma guy here with this lovely glowing orange plasma a little bit of scarring and uh, some wounds on his uh, face as well uh, moving around again the same consistency from model to model every single edge and all the details all painted the champion from the unit, really cool menacing eye on his belt buckle as well. Again, lovely, lovely clean finish on all of these. Uh, so that's just the champion. Uh, and then we'll pull forward the two of uh, the bolter wielding Chaos Space Marines from that unit on the right. Again, really love the sculpts. It looks like he's bounding forward there just to give someone a very bad day. So that's just uh, the Chaos Space Marines from them. And we've got more close combat orientated ones here on the left. Again, he's just bounding forward there. Love the red sash, just a loincloth, really, really cool. Kev's done a stellar job on keeping all of these models extremely, extremely sharp and, and lovely, lovely, cleanly finished. Uh, dude here with a knife and a bolter. Again, really cool, so that's just him. Again, got all the little eyes and everything all done on the armor as well, every little bit of uh, detail fully painted. Uh, we've got what I call the champion from the units. I think in just his pose of those horned helmet there, as you can see. But again, same consistency from model to model and a lovely, lovely finish on these. Uh, again, just another dude here leaping forward. Love the glowing eyes on him as well, which I think is a really nice little touch that Kev's done. And then we'll pull forward the final dude with the close combat weapon here, as you can see. Now, clients ask for different sort of color schemes for different units. Uh, you can see the obliterators are painted in uh, a different scheme, uh, just as our clients request. But again, lovely, lovely stellar finish on all the sinew and skin, all the armor painted in a lovely complementary green as per the colorway our client requested. And then you've got all the lights and teeth and eyes and everything fully painted on these as well, which is really, really cool. So that's just one of the obliterators. Pull forward the other one, just so you can see him. Again, same consistency. Again, all the areas of detail were fully painted. Lovely orange plasma glow on him and all the teeth and everything painted there in a lovely fashion, all little horns and things. Really muted palette on this, which I really, really do like. So that's just him. And then we'll pull forward the demon engine as well, which is really, really cool. Again, you've got all the little lights and details and everything fully done on him. Uh, every little sort of uh, lens, tooth, a uh, bit of uh, sort of metal work all painted and highlighted. Lovely orange glow from the uh, engine of the demon and uh, all the eyes and everything done there, as you can see on the side of the uh, sort of back sort of bit here. Uh, you know, really, really cool. I do love the uh, sort of biomechanical kind of finish to this model. It's really, really cool. So that's just him. Uh, we're back in a second to have a look at the full project again in all its glory. And you guys can find out a bit more about how to take a commission without us here at Siege. See you guys back in a sec. So thanks for checking the video out, guys. I really do hope you like this commission showcase. I know for a fact that Kev had a great time working on these models and I do hope you like them. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, then very simply, all you need to do in the description of this video, click on the link next to you where it says get a quote. That'll take you directly to the Siege Studios website's contact form. Complete that contact form by selecting the relevant drop down options for you from those available and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format and fire the message off to us. We'll then come back to you with a quote and get the process started. Uh, also, while you're in the description of the video, there's loads of links to all our social media. If you want to give us a follow and like respectively on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, you can keep up to date with everything that we post on there. And while you're here on YouTube, do us a huge favour, give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're not a subscriber and then hit the bell icon so you can keep updated when we put new videos up just so you can see all the new models that come out on the channel uh, i do thank you very much for watching the video and do hope you like the, this army it's been a really cool project and i'll see you on the next one take care bye bye